Hey friends, this is Anna with Scrapping, Stamping and Stuff, and I am here with day two of my 12 days of handmade gift ideas. Yesterday for day one, I shared how you can decorate Hershey's Nuggets candies and make these cute little uh, gift boxes and bags just filled with these cute little chocolate bars. So that was day one. You can check that out if you missed it. Today for day two, we are going to look at using the Stampin' Up! mini coffee cups and decorating them so that you can fill them with all kinds of treats. You can use hot chocolate packets, you can use K-cups, candies, all sorts of fun things. So this is one I had made a while back and shared. We're going to do a different one today and I'll show you exactly how to decorate these coffee cups to make perfect gift ideas. So what you will need for this first is a the template to cover the size of the coffee cup. So the template for the shape of paper to cover them. In the video description, you can find a link to my blog and it's gonna have in it the downloadable template that you can print off, cut out, and then trace around for the pieces you will cover your coffee cups with. I cut my one to cover the whole side out of shaded spruce cardstock and then the other one I cut out of cherry cobbler. So what I've done is put a strip of tear and tape adhesive at one end and I like to do it this way because by only putting that adhesive down at the one end and by using the tear and tape with the removable paper backing I have the chance to line all of this up before I remove the backing and before I stick it down. So right now I have it adjusted where I am happy with it. And at this point, I am going to pull that paper backing off, get everything pressed together and adjust it one last time and seal it up right there. Okay. So now we have our cup wrapped. This is the belly band that I have prepared to wrap around so that we have some decoration for our cup. So again, I'm gonna wrap this around, get it all lined up where I'm happy with it, and then pull that paper backing off of the tear and tape. Now I can press it together. So you can decide if where the seams are is the front or the back of your project. And with this one, you may, with your belly band, you need, may need to put some adhesive on there. So I am going to run some Seal Plus around here in the center, a little bit on the front, a little bit on the back. And I should be able to just slide this right up on there, give it a little press, and that is going to hold in place really well. Now I'll put the lid on with, like I said, you can decide if the seam is your front or your back. I think I will actually make that the front. No, I take that back. I'm being indecisive. I'm going to make it back. And I already have a tag prepared that we are going to decorate this with that I really love. Here it is. I made this with our Wishes and Wonder bundle. It's a really neat stamp set and it has this coordinating die set. And I'll show the tag to you up a little bit closer so you can see all the detail. I cut this out of our designer paper that coordinates with this bundle. Used our brushed metallic cardstocks for the deer and the branch. And then I stamp the tag and die cut those out as well. Oh, and I use some of our red foil paper for the background. So I thought it was a good chance to use some of those specialty papers and just make a really pretty tag for this coffee cup. I have some of our ribbon cut and we'll see if I'm able to do this. What I want to do is tie this right here around the lid. And the reason I'm not tying it lower is because my tag is fairly tall. And I need to tie it up this high for the tag. So let's see if I can do this. I 
give it a knot right there and I'm going to use some glue dots underneath to hold that in place. I could have actually put the glue dots on first. That might have been helpful, but I didn't think about it. So we'll put one there and one on the other side. And then we'll slide the ribbon back over top. And give that a good press to hold it in place. Okay, so I am going to put my tag on and then I'll make a nice little bow. and we are all ready. So get my ends trimmed off and show you how this turned out. So here you can see this cute little coffee cup with a really cute tag hanging off the front that we can fill with hot chocolate, K-cups, treats, little toys, all sorts of fun things. Now I'll show you another one. If you want more than one of these to be able to give to somebody, we do have this mini coffee cup carrier that I decorated a while back with some of our Snowflake Splendor products. So you can actually put two of these into one carrier and use it as a little bit larger gift. You can put gift cards in these and just all sorts of things. So I hope you enjoyed this really cute gift idea for day two of DIY gift ideas. And I hope you'll join back in for day three. You can get more ideas and inspiration on my blog at scrappingstampingandstuff.com. Hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you again next time.